Today's episode of the Super Mega Cast is brought to you by BetterHelp. You gotta ask yourself, what interferes with your happiness? Is there something preventing you from achieving your goals? For me and Ryan, for example, last year during the 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 heaviest part of the pandemic, you know, we got super depressed and lost all our motivation. Um, and and what we needed was some good therapy. And that's what BetterHelp is for. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You connect in a safe and private online environment. You can start communicating in just under 48 hours, and it's so convenient. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. You can message your counselor anytime and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions all without ever having to sit in that uncomfortable cold waiting room. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aids available. The best part is it's available to clients worldwide so you don't have to limit yourself to just the counselors in your area. Licensed professional counselors are specialized in things like depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBT matters, grief, self-esteem, and more. Everything you share is confidential. It's convenient, it's professional, it's affordable. And if you don't believe us, just check out the testimonials posted daily on their site. So we want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash supermega. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash supermega. Dude, wake up. <laughs> wake up. We got to do Super Mega Cast episode 246. Mm. Come on, man. Fucking yes. I get it. I yeah. get it. We got to record what? 240 what? 246. 246. Damn. Okay. Woo. Wait. Hold up. Two, hold up one second. 246? Welcome back, everyone. This yes. is episode 246 of the Super Mega Cast. Which, uh, this episode is, is uh, think about consecutive even numbers. Two, four, six, divide it by two. You get episode 123, so this two, is double four, episode six, eight. one, two, three. Who do we appreciate? Five, seven, nine, eleven. <gasps> <gasps> oh, no! One, three, five. But what's up, everybody? Welcome. Nothing much. Hold on, McAfee... How do we get rid of McAfee off this fucking computer? How do we tell McAfee to fucking bugger off, dude? Dude, let's tell John McAfee to go fucking jump into a well. People might be wondering, this podcast sounds strange. Well, it's because Matt and I switched seats, so mm-hmm. the vibe might be a bit different. Yeah, well, we were, we were wondering, like, you know, every time we do a podcast, I sit in my blue chair and Ryan sits in his in Have his we not leather. done this before? I think like maybe once or twice. Yeah. And I was like, I, if we switch seats, the whole vibe is different on the pod. Yo, you have a nice view of the van. I, you have a view of pretty much everything. You know what? I've never talked about the van. Oh, the like. Y- Just in general. Oh, yeah. You know? You, you got it originally when we worked for the Game Grumps because you were going to start a channel with the Tucker Brothers. Yeah. So let me, let me, let me, let me dive into this one. So I've always wanted. Like one of those tiny or or uh, tiny like box cube like Japanese vans from like the nineties, mm-hmm. and I found a website that sells. Uh, it's called a, a Mitsubishi Delica. It's Ooh. from nineteen ninety one, and I saw it and I was like, "That is a beautiful van. Uh, I love that." So I found a place uh, that sold them for a pretty good price, and I got it shipped out here. Uh, it has like 250,000 kilometers already put on it. So a lot. Back in the 90s, before I was even born, someone was driving it around Japan. A shit ton. Uh-huh. And uh, it's so old that there's like ashtrays built in, and uh, you can play cassette tapes. So I, I, that's like the only place I can play my cassette tapes from my little cassette collection. And the back seat's like a hangout, because uh, you can make the seats face each other. So it's like a cool hangout zone. It's got curtains. You know, it's 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 got that old kind of cigarette smell that we we love. We've, we've done a uh, y'all y'all know the van. Brand new shirt. It's, yeah, brand new shirt. Uh, you can see in the background of our two mad video. Yeah, also in the two mad video. Um. Anyway, I got it and I was excited. And this was um, uh, two months after the Tucker brothers had had just moved onto my couch. Yes. Uh, Harrison Jackson, and. We had this idea where we were going to start like a little podcast talk show thing that is all recorded in the back of the van called Van Boys. And I know a long time ago people found, because we were just snatching up all the usernames, so yeah. someone found the Van Boys subreddit and they're like, people have been like, what the hell is this? The big project. Um, You're going to go around and like to different 
eats. And yeah, like yeah. It was going to be like a food thing where we were going to drive to like different, like cool little restaurants around LA and do different episodes and like mm-hmm. eat in the back of the van and talk about it. And uh, yeah, I was, I was pretty excited for it. And then one day, one day, Jackson, sweet little Jackson goes, hey man, can I, can I borrow the van today? And I said, sure. Huge, actually huge thing I didn't mention. It's because it's Japanese. The steering wheel is on the right side of the car. Yes. So, so it feels weird. It feels very weird. But after a couple of hours of driving it, you get the hang of it. And mm-hmm. uh, it's not that different. You're just kind of a little bit spaced over. Yeah. Uh, but I got I got pretty good at driving it like that. Um, and what happened is this is actually the day we went to Disneyland with Jack Septicai. Oh, really? Remember? OK. Long, long time ago. This Damn. is 2018. Yeah, this is 2018. That's right. Uh, J- Justin came? was there. J- Justin Tracy, not yeah. not not little Justin. <laughs> there's two. There's little Justin and big Justin. <laughs> so we went with big Justin <laughs> and uh, Jack Septicai and. Well, the dude's like like, like thirty something. Yeah, he's big Justin. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he is big Justin. Um, neither of them are tall. So I, no. When you say big Justin, it sounds like he's like a big dude, but he's no. pretty small. Big is an older. Yeah. And then little Justin because he's fourteen. <laughs> Little Justin. Yeah. Little Justin. Little Justin needs his mother's permission <laughs> to, to fly to California. Uh, we had just ridden the Tower of Fucking Terror. Yeah, we did. Little did I know, though, <gasps> I was about to end up on my own Tower of Terror. I get a phone call as uh, we get off. Sounds like the telephone of terror. Uh-huh. And it's Jackson. And he's like, <gasps> the Jackson of terror. Uh-huh. And he goes, the the. Tower of Tucker. Oh, woo. Tucker of Jackson. Oh. He calls me and he goes, dude, dude. And I was like, what? And he's like, I shit my pants in the van. It's everywhere. And it was all in the car. <laughs> no, I'm all sorry. In the seats. I continue with this story. Uh, Jackson crashed the van. Yeah, he did. Uh, no, did someone crash? He crashed into someone else. Yeah. He was changing lanes on the freeway and turned behind him to make sure there's no cars. And then in front of him, a taxi had put on its brakes and he just. Did he make sure to uh, have a good space cushion between him and said taxi? Well, it looks like, I guess not. I guess not. Because you're only supposed to be looking back for like, it's a, it's, you know, you're not supposed but, to. But I mean, we, well, Jackson's a very skilled driver. We know that. All of the Tucker brothers are. Jackson actually drove me the other day uh, in the Mini Cooper. Was it terrifying? I, yeah, it's just so like, woo, 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 I feel like people woo. who don't drive much don't know enough. I Not know enough, but like they don't have the feel Really, for like smooth break, and he doesn't really ever that. drive. I drive every day, so yeah. Both of us do, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, he crashes it, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck, because I had only had it for less than a month literally less than a month. Uh, well, and you and I have done long road trips too, like we've driven to like Vegas. We've also, like, in South Carolina, I'm sure took our own road. I don't know. Well, we were gonna take the van on road trips, yeah, and like all of us, it would have been great, yeah. Uh, but I don't know if I feel too safe about it though. No, he hit the back of of a taxi. Uh, and of course that's, that's not fun because then insurance wise, the taxi company's like, well, you also have to pay us for, uh, like lost time (laughs) Yep. and shit like that. And they wanted like nine grand Jackson being yelled at by like, like this is a taxi driver in LA. This dude wasn't like, Oh, don't worry about it. He was pissed. Yeah. Did Jackson um, say he was like fuck? And then the, but the the woman in the back of the taxi started doing the like thing where she's like, "Ow, I think I'm hurt." No way. Even though it was a fender bender, <laughs> but somehow this fender bender completely fucked the frame of the van. The frame sounds like more than a fender bender. Yeah, like uh, the frame sounds is, like he literally just slammed into the back of a taxi. I think that's what happened. Uh, but the frame's fucked. So like, I was like, "Fuck, I got to get this fixed." So. I tried to drive it to a shop. So wait, what, why was he driving? He was was he using it just as a mode of transportation? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I should have just given him the Civic. Well, I didn't know he needed a car. I was at Disney. Oh, he just took it. Well, he asked me. Oh, okay. Uh, I think. Is it one of those things where like you want to say no, but like you're like, ah, you know what? Well, I mean, I trusted him at the time. Not anymore. <laughs> but I'm dry. Uh, so I'm driving it to like a repair shop and I notice it feels a little bit weird because it's like kind of it's a little wonky. <laughs> yeah. And then I start getting above like 20 miles per hour and the whole thing starts kind of sh- uh, shaking in like a circular motion. Mm-hmm. And I get to the place and the guy's like, dude, your frame's fucked. You shouldn't be driving this. And it is like the, the van is offset from the wheels, like how it used to be. Uh, 
And Jackson was really upset, but I said, you don't have to pay for it for the repair. I'll pay for it because you you just moved here. As long as you take it in yeah, to I, the repair shop. Well, I, I, I said, ju just handle getting it repaired. Yeah. I don't want to have to do anything. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. You, you go, just get it fixed. Yeah. And now... Uh, it's been how many years? Well, it's 2021. I'm looking at the Vanson. It's undrivable right now. So how, many, how many years has it been? This year it will be three. Wait, 2018. The fuck, Siri? No, shut up, Siri. Wait, 2018. I mean, so 2019, 2020, 20, it'll be three years. A big oopsie on Jackson's part. I took it into a shop. I found a place that would do But how some... many years later did you take it into this a shop? This was earlier this year. <laughs> okay, so it... it finally went into repair. Well, no, it didn't. Because uh, they told me, they were like, oh, uh, we can fix like the starter because there was a problem with the ignition too. Mm -hmm. But they're like, we can't fix the frame though. So then I was back to square one. So now the van's parked here. He did text me recently and said, hey, I really want to get this fixed. Let's talk soon. And then I never responded to it. But I would really, I really want my van back because I, I'm probably going to sell it. I mean, it's just not worth it anymore. Like having, it's like a, it's like a big piece of metal that just sits there. And these vans are pretty popular in LA. So people can, uh, people buy it up. And if I can't find, like if the repair is just going to cost a shit ton of money, then I'm just going to sell it like as is because someone will buy it. I bet get it fixed themselves so that's the van saga that's the story of the van um i also had to get it towed because jackson was in orange county and uh harris and i had to go get it towed and it cost a thousand dollars to go one mile Ooh. so okay wait why um it costs like a little over a thousand to have my fiat transported from i don't know South why carolina to california it's because they had to bring in a special Thing to load it up. I, I don't know. I made Jackson pay that though. I was like, you're, you're paying. You're paying this telling. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the story of the van. Wait, don't you also? Isn't there? There's some. There's another thing uh, that hasn't been put out there yet because uh, it's in a Pokemon episode. Do, how many? How many uh, patrons do we have currently? A little over seven thousand two hundred. Okay. At the at the current. Moment. So less than three thousand. And no. Well, that's. Uh, I told Jackson. Was it by the end of the month? No, by the end of the year. Oh, I said if Jackson by the end of the could, year? but I said by his own doing. The the like that doesn't count right now. The new ones we got because that was through stuff you and I had <laughs> come up with and posted. So I told him if you can get it to ten thousand, I'll buy you your stupid fucking prowler. So how? No, would, if, so how would he do it? I'll sell him the van if it gets to ten. But 000. how would he do it? Like through stuff that he, like his ideas and stuff and oh, okay. and, and his proactive shit okay. with it would get it. It, okay. Like where it's very clear, it's like Jackson. You really helped us get this to ten thousand. Uh, so because the recent stuff, I didn't. I, I I don't count that because that was just bonus. So now you got to buy two Mad Prowler. Yeah, I'll, I'll say two Mad. You re you helped us, buddy. <laughs> two Mad is never coming to my house again. He told me uh, how, how our boy acted at two a.m. in a residential area. So was it wasn't it two a.m.? No, it was like oh never mind. It was like nine thirty at night. Okay, so but, it's not that bad. But all my neighbors have little kids, so the the kids are already in bed. Okay. Um, uh, I'm trying to make a good impression on my neighbors. Uh, I really want them to like me. Too mad. Uh, goes outside on my street and just starts yelling, "I'm gay! I'm gay!" and bouncing the basketball. <laughs> I'm gay, oh, boy! And then <laughs> that's a good impression. And then uh. He also, uh, earlier there was a kid outside yelling, it's bubble time. So two mads started screaming, it's bubble time! And I'm like, dude, if the parents heard that, they're going to be like, what the fuck are you? My kid was saying that. <laughs> so uh, very appreciative. I just want to make a good impression on my neighbors, you know? Of course. It's like a, our street's like a little community. It's really nice. They're, mm. they're sweet people. Yeah. Uh, they're very nice to me. They've brought me. Do you wave to them? Every yeah, time you see Every them? single time I go, hey. And I'll, I'll try to stop and have some conversation too. And then they look at you and like. Was that a uh, your friend you dribbling the, one that was the basketball? Yelling, I'm gay. <laughs> why is that funny? I'm gay myself. So why 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 would you be screaming? That? Do you think you could hook me up <laughs> with two men? <laughs> his little breast, <laughs> his, his big breast actually. <laughs> Justin didn't keep it in the the gauntlet video, but I did shut my eyes and hold two men's breast, and imagine that it was a girl's breast. And it how was it? Felt one hundred percent undistinguishable really indistinguishable yeah like you could like i was getting a little chubbed You're just like, touching it whoa so okay. i was like man this is nice he has a nice handful uh they're they're like it's, it's like a smaller titties okay but, but nice and plump okay you know? that's good 
They're not perky. No, 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 no. Um, of course not. But yeah, those things are great, man. His tits? Mm-hmm. No. Oh, okay. Anyway, well, that's that's why two mats never allowed over at my house again, and why the van is parked in the back of the super megaplex, and, and probably who knows how long it will be there as a monument. Oh, one last thing about it's like the a van. Confederate statue. You can't you can't knock it down. Exactly. It's a part of history. Uh huh. And uh. And, and I want to donate a lot of money to keep it staying here. Because <laughs> yeah. another thing is that I didn't know this. Uh, if you're not using a vehicle, you have to declare it to the DMV that it's out of use. So You know how many people don't do that? The re- well, the registration expired, and I didn't renew the registration because the van is not and in use. And they were like, hey, what's up? A $400 fucking fine. Ouch. Yeah. Great album. But, yeah. So I, paid, right. I had to pay that. So it's just been a pain in my ass, but... I want to drive it again. I mean, it's fun to drive. Did you ever ride in it? Once we went to Santa Monica. That's right, yeah. And we smoked up on the beach and walked around. Watched those people skateboarding. Yeah, that was a, that was a fun time. That was really fun. But unfortunately, ooh, don't have a van anymore. Well, if I sell it and I can get enough money back, maybe I'll buy... I saw another one recently that was super cool. A really nice van. Mm-hmm. It, I mean, it's still an old Japanese. No, one, just get a minivan, dude. Drive I kind of do want to get. Well, I, where's I the like, Tesla van? I love how these Japanese vans are. They're like little cubes, and they're so cute, and they're cool on the inside. I saw one that is being sold in LA. I saw it because I drove past it, and it's like this, but a truck. You know why they're? You know why the vans are smaller? Why? Because they're smaller people. Their average height is shorter than we are. That's yeah. Their limbs are tinier. Those tiny Japanese. It's the same thing. It's the same reason why their baseball. Like I figured out why their baseball gloves are smaller. It's because they have tinier hands. On oh average. god, dude, going to Japan and getting in the shower and the shower heads like at my nipples. <laughs> I know, dude. Like when you and I got into the beds and like our fucking legs are splaying out. Like I think like we probably fit up into our knees and then our then our legs are hanging. Do off. you remember that uh the first we, we have to like we have to crouch down every time we get into like a family mart or something? Mm-hmm. Cuz the the ceiling's like probably what like Five and a half feet yeah. off the ground. Yeah. Do you remember? Because your, your average height for like a, a Japanese male is like four eight five one in between there. I think I, I think it's actually lower. I think it's like. I no, think you're thinking of female height. I, I'm sure. Oh yeah, females are more like three six, three eight. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I miss Japan. I, you know, now that I'm vaccinated and you're vaccinated, uh, it's like oh we could we, maybe we can go back soon. But now Japan is having a huge surge. Yeah, it's awful in Japan. So also Canada's borders are still. Closed to travel. Mm-hmm. Um, baby, no money is stuck here right now. Okay, How, so, how's he doing? He's good. I just met him in person for the first time. Is he chilling in L.A.? Yeah, he's chilling. He's in the stew, man, cooking up some hot shit. Is he gonna release a, a hot single? I think so. Cause he's hot and single. Oh, is he? Yeah, oh, damn. He's okay. my favorite Armenian rapper. <laughs> Do you know he's Armenian? No, not at all. He's Armenian. Yeah, is he? Uh huh. Yeah, like like half, I'm guessing. No, he's like full Armenian. Is he? Or maybe half. He has an Armenian last name. Okay. And, uh, you know, I talked to him about the Armenian culture. And, uh, because, you know, us living in Glendale, we learned a lot. And, I mean, Super Mega is the only YouTube channel that stands Armenia. Yeah. So, Uh, did did he have anything to say? Did he he say he usually goes to all the fun parties? No? No, he didn't. uh, There are a lot of parties that happen. Armenian? Yeah. I love to go. They used to happen all the time. Remember, like even like when we worked for the Groms, there was a place across the street that would always be popping. Oh yeah, um, where it's like specific places where they would hold like parties for like their young daughters or something, like an Armenian quinceanera. Yeah, whatever that would be called. We stand Armenia and we recognize the Armenian genocide. Yeah, Joe Biden just did that. Did he? First president to ever uh, recognize the Armenian genocide. It's crazy. It's kind of hard to to not recognize the the slaughter. It's fine, it's Ryan. I'm you, glad we I'm glad we did it now. We it hurts trade if we recognize <laughs> the Armenian genocide with who and Turkey's Turkey. <laughs> Turkey's our friend, dude. Who cares? I'm kidding. It's bad. Everything. Every you know. I just every every everything just kind of sucks. Everything is awful. Wasn't yeah. that a website or something? Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. That's the Lego movie song. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome when you live in a dream. I don't know. Something like that. When you live, it works. When, yeah. When you live, in, when you're living your dream. I don't know what it is. Something like that. That works. That's probably not even the line, but it, but you know, you, you did it pretty, pretty good. 
Um, that movie was, I liked that movie a lot. The first one was good. I never saw the second one. I didn't Wait, either. did I see the second one? And then I just completely forgot it? They made the Batman one too. Lego Batman. Okay, I kind of enjoyed Lego Batman. Oh, I, I, it looks fun, man. I love Lego uh, stuff. Like Lego, we, we still got to play a Lego game on the channel. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, I, I also want to play Lego, Lego Island. Game. Lego Island would be good. We could play, uh, we could play, oh, dude. Ooh, we could play ad reads. You guys know that I love clothes, because clothes are epic. And shopping for new clothes can be needlessly stressful. So why not let today's sponsor, Stitch Fix, make it easy by doing the work for you so you could spend time doing the things you love instead. Maybe you've gotten used to the work from home routine, but has your wardrobe adjusted? Stitch Fix can help you redesign your Zoom casual look. You're ready to get back outside, but your closet says otherwise. Get some much needed style updates with the help of Stitch Fix. Are you bad at picking out clothes? <laughs> yeah, we know. But Stitch Fix is here to do it for you and make it make, make you look hot. Shopping for clothes can be daunting. You never know if it'll fit, returns are difficult, and you don't even know what store to start with. This season, let Stitch Fix do all the hard work for you. Brian used to dress like doo-doo garbage. Now, with Stitch Fix, he has a great catalog of clothing to choose from every single day, and he's looking fly as hell. They offer clothing that's hand-selected by expert stylists for your unique size, style, and budget. Every piece is chosen for your fit and your life, and it's the easiest solution to finding what makes you look and feel your best. Try on pieces at home before you buy, keep your favorites, and send back the rest. Stitch Fix has free shipping, easy returns and exchanges, and a prepaid return envelope is included. There's no subscription required. Try Stitch Fix once or set up automatic deliveries. You'll pay just a $20 styling fee for each box, which gets credited towards pieces you keep, and there's no hidden fees ever. Stitch Fix has styles and clothing to fit any occasion for women, men, and kids. They ship all over the U.S. and available in the U.K. as well. Get started today at stitchfix.com super, and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com super for 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com super. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you like those ad, ad reads. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what Lego game were you thinking of? What Lego game was I thinking of? You were saying of? we could play uh, Pirates of the Caribbean? Pirates is of the Caribbean is a good one. I would really like to do that. I would like to, pl I would like to play um, Weird franchise. old Lego Star Wars. Dude, I would love old Lego Star Wars. Or like... Um, Lego should make an MMO where you can like make your own little Lego man and run around a cool world. Or like Lego Ichi the Killer. Just one of those fun kind of games that they released. Yeah. I, I wonder if we can find like, not mods, but like fan-made Lego games mm -hmm. after certain franchises um i want to start playing with more mods on the channel like we should replay sekiro again but do it where you're woody from <laughs> like you see the mods on reddit and shit the people are doing that a lot with um the new resident evil game which i just completed mm, you beat big breasted goth woman tall woman game i did she was sh she was super easy barely an inconvenience really come on come really on. yeah is that a quote it's a it's a reference to the 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 pitch meeting, um, the pitch meeting. It's Screen Rant does these pitch me oh okay. meeting videos. Okay, I haven't seen. And, I, and I binged screen. a good bit of them recently. It's um, but yeah, I did. I did beat it. And um, nice Michael Jackson. Yeah, it Lego was uh, Michael Jackson. It's like every fucking Resident Evil game, dude. They they're they're good up until up until like the last fourth of the game, or the last. I would say yeah, the last fourth, and then it just. They can't help themselves but just become stupid. Like my like mind blowing action where the play style doesn't fit that type of stuff. I like the ending of Ten Cloverfield Lane. <laughs> kinda. It, it kinda becomes a Call of Duty. I know that this is the famous people. It becomes more like Call of Duty. I wouldn't say it like becomes like Call of Duty. It becomes definitely more intense and f and and fast paced. But the way your character moves and just the way the enemies enemies react to gunshots, it's, it, it's, it's not built right. It's not built right for that style of play. And I wish they would just keep it slow and they would keep it a little more contained. But I get it. It's Resident Evil and they got to do these big goofy things. What Resident Evil is it? It's eight. Eight? Mm -hmm. I do really enjoy Resident Evil. I mean, Village. Uh, v I I I. Oh, you know? I really, 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 really. I, I was still to this day, I think one of the best series on our channels when we did the it Resident Evil. Might be Evil our best 2. series. It's so funny. I love I, I, Resident Evil so 2 is so. It's a good game, too. You beat the game, and there's some legendary gamer moments in there. Oh, yeah. Like when you fuck. There's just this one. It's one of the best gaming. Like, 
not comedy, like gaming moments on the channel. It's one of the best moments of all time. Where the clock's ticking down. The game might have helped me a little bit on that, but still. It was insane. I, I was freaking out. I feel but like also, you'd still lose that. Tucker comes and sits in for some episodes, didn't yep. he? It's a, it's, a, it's a really fun series. You guys should go watch it if you haven't. I, I kind of want to just go it best of. watch it again. My, I might just watch the best of. I want to do it too, yeah. Just because I like, you should come over. We should smoke a little ganja and we should and watch, watch Super, Super Mega. Mega. Yeah. We should, um, I'm trying to think of, so wait, we're right now on the channel. We're playing two things. We're playing uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Truck Sim. And then Truck Simulator. Truck Simulator is kind of like an ongoing we thing that kind of won't. series going. Yeah, I, I just like, Topia. I don't want to do, I just don't want to do too many series at once to where then it's just like. Well, we only have one actual series going right now, I guess. Because yeah. Truck Sim is kind of always going. Animal Coliseum's Crossing is going to last a long time too. It's a long game. It's like 30 hours or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know how far we are into it. Neither do I. Uh, Jackson bumbling around I like I sit there and watch Jackson play Pokemon. That series is really fun, though. I think that's that's some some top some top tier Super Mega because uh, it's not getting that many views. But watch it just for the commentary if you want. Like click a random episode because I, I think it, the three of us like uh, vibe really well in those episodes. It's definitely like a different vibe than other Let's Plays just because there's a third person. It's really there. funny though. Some really good moments. And then. Um, Truck Sim, we still have episodes that we need to release, but right now we're releasing Pokemon. PKMN. I want to do more truck, like record more Truck Sim. I'm trying to think of like, I just want to not play a game like Resident Evil 2, but I, I kind of do. I, I really like, I really think for some reason it's slower paced games. Where it's not like just running through A to B, blowing shit up. Maybe or... we can replay it with mods this time. <laughs> we could, dude, we, did, we never did Claire's story. We could do Claire's story and change characters. <sighs> but then it's like, it's kind of like, you know, when people bring something back, it's like, is it really the same? I think did we catch lightning in a bottle with that one series? And is it possible? That's what, I'm, that's what we're always going to remember for when we die. Like, this Resident Evil the 2 Resident Evil Two remake series. God. All the hard work we put into our live action that that is that is null and void compared to the 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 championing for for our talents when it comes to our let's plays exclusively. We're the best let's players on YouTube. Resident Brian. Evil Two playthrough, Resident Evil Two remake mm -hmm. playthrough, Leon's story. Yeah, Leon, Leon. My boy, Leon Greyjoy. Man, so I just, uh, I've been working really hard setting up my new place, uh, painting walls and everything, and I just uh, got my studio kind of temporarily set up because I'm getting a different desk um, and, and stuff like that. So I have a very temporary setup. I got a little couch in there. I got my drums, got my desk with my piano. and You actually have room for all your shit because mm -hmm. I remember, because you only have your bedroom to really have your own personal stuff, so you had to kind of like forfeit the drums uh, at one point in terms of like a comfortable spot for them to even be. You had to kind of forfeit a good bit just for personal space, but now you have your own room, you have an office, you have a living room area, so you, you have a lot more space, which is nice. See, check this out. Cause I've been I've been living by myself for about three years. Three. And now it's my turn. And now it's your. And I'm like, dude, it's hard I to go it. back after I after living it. alone. Like, it's really just nice to come home and just to have whoosh, me time. It's really nice because I can just like relax and. I like the couch where people can just chill. Yeah. Thanks. I, I got it. You're welcome. I'm trying to figure. <laughs> try to figure out if I want to repaint the walls from that green to maybe like. I just want to do like a like a. Coral, and I ain't talking Walking Dead here. Like a coral, or like like, like was coral salmon type? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. That or maybe like a uh, purple. I don't know. I I do like that green color. Anyway, y'all will probably see it in future videos. But um, I set up the office so I can finally get back to working on music and stuff like that. But can't wait for Oof to come out. Oh, dude, don't spoil that. Sorry. I'm trying to remember why I brought this up in the first place. There's a reason because you're bragging about having a million dollar YouTube mansion in the hills, two million, but with three pools on each floor, not like three pools, one on each floor, three pools on each of the three floors, mm -hmm. which is great. Like one's heated, one's cool, and one's just kind of like it's a like room temperature. Yeah, all salt water too, which. Surprised me the first time I went down the water slide. It went right up my nose. Yeah. That comes from a true story, actually, of when I was on a cruise ship, and I did not know that they used salt water in the pools on the cruise ship when I was younger. So I went down the water slide, and I was like, what? 
you know, mouth open, ready to just go <laughs> into water. And then all the salt goes straight up my nose and mouth. I'm like, <laughs> The worst part about that it is surprised just that it's cool me. It water. scared me, dude. I was not expecting to have this burning sensation go up my nose. Oh man, getting water up your nose is such a fucking <laughs> negative experience. Fuck yeah, it is. It's I mean, awful. F yeah, it is. The way you said it was like, fuck yeah, it is. Fuck. Dude, okay. Uh, I know this is going to be, I know we already left Resident Evil Village, but there's the, the protagonist, his name is Ethan Winters. And I think he's one of the funniest protagonists, or if not the funniest protagonist in a Resident Evil game. Because there's just one part where <laughs> there's uh, an evil woman talking to him. I'm not going to spoil anything. Hillary but a- after he's done doing doing uh, Resident Evil business, you know, slaying and 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 poon tanging, mm-hmm. uh, e- Ethan's just like, what did he say? He's like. Shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch! And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ! He's like, fuck off! He's always like angry and like cursing, but he legitimately at one point I want to go back and find it. He calls someone just like a stupid bitch, and I loved it. <laughs> it's just out of the shut point. up, you stupid bitch! Like, <laughs> it was so good. I, God I, love Ethan Winters. I watched a. I started watching a Nigerian movie on YouTube. Resident it, Evil. It, yeah, it's it's Nigerian <laughs> Resident, Resident Evil, <laughs> but it, no, it's uh. It, I watched it with Ethan and Jacob and Adri, their camera girl. But like, uh, this guy like kills like the main character. He's supposed to. He's like the protagonist. He's like it's supposed to be like the hero, but they just made him like so awful because it's like beginning of the movie. He like kills this guy as a hitman, and then you hear like a scream. He turns around. It's like an innocent woman. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> and shoots her four times. It's not like an airplane type movie. Like this. No, is their, like, no, no. It's it's a. Uh, the thing is, it's it's it was the point of that scene to be like, God, what an annoying bitch. Shut her up. Was you that like, like the point? It's just showing he's like badass, but it's like he just slaughters her, <laughs> and uh, like like just this innocent woman. Uh, and I think what's why what, are you running? Pretty much. That's my. That's I think that's a famous clip, right? Why are you running? Yeah. I also love that one where it's like Nigerians I uh, never freeze. trying to talk American. You know that clip? Wow. Like, you are EP, enemy of progress. Nah, 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 nah. He does like this really high, high pitch. pitch. It's like I have it has like the teeth where all his teeth look like shark's teeth. Oh, that's that's always like scared me because I always picture like what happens when you bite your teeth, uh, bite your tongue. Nigerian film is great. Nigerian cinema is fantastic. It's because it's all very, very low budget and uh, bad, but it's I, like you could I, you could see what they were going for. You can like envision what they wanted it to look like. I like great. the movies where it's like the Nigerian movies where they use the uh, iPhone stock special effects from that app of like the <laughs> helicopter crashing or like a plane crashing into hey, like, man, the ground. They're they're making the most of uh of the resources that they have, and it's awesome. Yeah, and in fact, that stuff is was probably so overused that it's not used anymore, that it's probably, like, in demand again now, where people are like, how, whoa, how'd they actually do that effect? Somalia has a, a film scene, too, Somaliwood. Okay. And uh, I would be interested in maybe you and I getting together soon, just watching, uh, you know, watching some Nigerian or Somalian movies. There's there's some fun uh, movies, even from, uh, from Bo- have you ever seen a Bollywood film? Uh, I I mean, I, I don't think Slumdog They're Millionaire dancing counts. and singing and Bollywood. I would love to see a Bollywood uh movie. Like, could they just look fun? Also, Hindi is such a beautiful looking language. I, I think it'd be. We should make a full Bollywood movie where we speak Hindi the whole time. Um, can we dye our hair black? We dance, dye our hair black, get mustaches. We'll get the tan. <laughs> okay. uh, That's all it is. How it's, ju- that- it's just a tan. What, what, what was that? I just spilled a little bit of water. Just a little bit? Just a little bit, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, it's on the carpet, so nobody okay, it'll soak it in. I'm still trying to remember what I, what I, what I, what, why I brought up my studio. Because I brought it up to say something, and it's, and I've had this horrible feeling of dread ever since then, because I just something can't remember. Something about working on new music, something about... Well, we were, what were we talking about right be before the studio? Place. To my Resident Evil, and then we're talking about having your own place. Um... I think you just I think you just jumped in with like talking about how you like recently just painted and got everything together. Oh well, man. I guess I'll never, uh, you know. Well, I guess I'll never know, or the audience will never know. You know what they which will is know? Which unfortunate that we have more ad reads. When it comes to paying off debt, it could feel like an uphill battle. Believe me, Ryan and I have found ourselves in quite a good amount of debt, or I guess a bad amount of debt, and it's like climbing up a hill with a tiny little rope that's breaking. High interest rates resulting in minimum monthly payments keeps you in an endless cycle of debt. 
but Upstart is here to help you get ahead. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple, fixed monthly payment. And unlike other lenders, Upstart looks at more than just your credit score, like your income and employment history. This means they can offer smarter rates with trusted partners. Ryan and I used Upstart to fund a personal project we're working on. We're starting a bean plantation. And we got a smarter rate with Upstart, now our payments are so easy every month. And with a five minute online rate check, you could see your rate up front for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. <laughs> you can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. So, find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash supermega. That's upstart.com slash supermega. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash super mega. Uh, I'm trying to get ripped, Ryan. Wow, Matt, you're looking so good. That's what all the ladies have been saying to me. And you know why I'm looking so good? It's because of FitBod. Repeating the same exercises can make you lose sight of your progress and kill your motivation. It's boring. Don't get stuck doing the same workouts. Making progress towards the future you means overcoming new challenges. Everyone talks about perfection, but perfection is just an illusion. There's always a higher level, however, to strive for that looks different for everyone, especially when it comes to fitness. There's no perfect body that everyone can achieve, <laughs> except for me. But what we can do is continually become a better version of ourselves. And no workout is one size fits all. FitBod creates a fitness program that continually adapts to you, so you stay challenged with new exercises, pacing, and intensity based on where you are and where you want to be. It's so easy to pick up the app and just do some workouts that are tailored to my goals and the equipment that I have. It's got clear and easy instructions to follow, so I know exactly how to do all these workouts, and it just, it feels so good on my muscles. And I'm getting stronger. You can see it in the videos. You can see my, my, my big boy muscles just throbbing out of my arms. It's super easy to use, has HD video tutorials, and it makes learning new exercises a breeze. So we have a special offer for all you super mega cast freaks. Pick up the pace on your fitness journey with FitBod today, and your future self will thank you. Get 25% off your membership at fitbod.me slash super. That's 25% off at fitbod.me slash super. Oh my goodness. Stop. Those, what, those were some good ad reads. I know. They, they earn us some money. I'm just pissed off right now. Why, why are you pissed off? Buddy? That I'm making so much money off, off of these ad, ad reads. I know, it's ridiculous. We're millionaires now. <clears throat> oh my God, multi-millionaires. Mm -hmm. Multi-billionaires next month. Oh, whew, if we're lucky. <sighs> we're not millionaires. No. I wish. That would be cool. That would be cool to be a millionaire. I would, had to have one million dollars. Think about it. Do you think we'll ever, mm. do you think we'll ever hit a point where we can... But even then, like, it's... <laughs> If if I made that type of money and I was still living in South Carolina, I'd feel like I was set. You're but balling, like, dude. But like in LA specifically, I feel like because I couldn't imagine purchasing property here because that starts off as so expensive. It's a good probably, you know, you'll get money from it. It's always good to like put it money in It will be very expensive. Yeah, but it like it would be very expensive. Like I don't like it's like essentially once you earn that, you immediately will not become that because you invest it. And I guess that's the point of investing money. You'd invest it into like a property or something. Mm -hmm. Well, the but, way I always saw it was like with investing and stuff was I, I like I, I based like my how much money I had just on the number of my bank account. I didn't like investing because I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's like a, I, I guess you got to move money around if you want to make more money. And um. It's 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 weird because well here here's something that is one hundred percent true and both of us know this is obviously um, now with Patreon and merch and stuff we're making we're making pretty good money speaking candidly but it doesn't my level of happiness has not increased overall like yeah. my life quality the more money I make it's it it really it's like the it's true where it says money doesn't buy happiness it's yeah. I mean it's cool because it's like oh you know if I want x y or z it's like i can i can get it but super fortunate to be like it's uh, lucky we're fi so lucky financially uh stable so we can like focus on kind of our more internal problems if we need to yeah because a lot of people aren't 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 given that if uh they're like most of their time is like 
you know, working the typical nine to five and then spending an hour in traffic on the way home. Then by the time you get home, you know, you don't want to put the effort into like thinking about things. You got to, you know, you got to feed yourself or you just got to, you want to sit down and unwind and not worry about shit. And like, I I completely understand, Mm -hmm. like we're, we're definitely given a good opportunity to look after ourselves. And that's why I think that, um, like when we do take time or like when I do find time where it's like, Hey, I'm just going to, I need to take some time off. I'm not, I don't feel like streaming, so I'm not going to stream. That's not part of like my job per se. But yeah. like even with even with Super Mega, if it's like I don't feel like I'm in the mood to record Let's Plays today, I give myself that leniency, and we're, we're lucky enough to. We're do that. so well, like honestly, we're just very lucky and fortunate, and uh, we we do understand that we don't overlook that or take that for granted because it's you guys that you know put ha- make us in this position. Um, but it it just means so much, and the reason I would like to be rich is because. Not so I can buy things, but just so it, it affords me freedom, you know, where it's like I can do whatever I want. And well, I think that's worry. a lot of people's goal is to be fi- like to be good financially You're so kinda then like that they can focus the on other money. things because it's like, you know, it's like money doesn't, you know, quote unquote, buy happiness, but it does afford you the room to to have the time to kind of think about it more or to make those decisions or to schedule like let's say therapy appointments that where you don't feel like they're getting in the way of your like weekly job what's the i can't take time off because the bot you know Mm -hmm. like we can just like i can just be like hey i'm going to therapy today it's probably going to be a a big one so i let's let's just call off work today meet tomorrow and like that's super okay Mm -hmm. and like i i remember working for like food lion and like throwing up like physically like throwing up and feeling ill but not being able to like call off um because mm-hmm. my boss was like well do you have a replacement i'm like no and i'll go throw up in the restroom and they're like no okay well you gotta stay here so i'm like sitting there i'm trying to like look as Ridiculous. decent as possible like at the cash you got register. vomit on your sweater <laughs> already i actually wasn't trying to reference m m that was just completely <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah just like so as i said very grateful and i'm i try to use uh, that to its benefit in looking after myself when I can. Absolutely, you guys are just fucking incredible. Um, I, I don't, I don't really know how to put it into words. Like how grateful. Well, we can put it into song. <gasps> gotcha, gotcha. You thought it was gonna be like y'all a, thought we were gonna make a thank you song. Like, Fuck you. Like a bit, like a bit that would take effort for y'all. Because we could on. have actually gone and made a song. Oh, dude. Um, yes. Uh, next week before you leave town, would you like to take a day to come to my new studio in my in my house and record a song? Yes. Because I have a I have a I can I can write up my my parts of it tonight and okay. send it to you and show you because I is I, this the okay is yeah. it the idea you brought uh-huh. up okay so. Uh, I bought I bought a, a new beat that's really good. Okay, good. And um, I'm excited. I, th- I, think I like can, writing shit. It's that fun. video will be really good. Um, and it'll be a little more complicated than uh, brand new pants. Mm-hmm. It's not called brand new pants. Right? <laughs> it's called brand new shirt. <laughs> Whatever. You, know, you should know your own songs. Bro. Hey, well, I was see, I was I was thinking about you more than anything else because <sighs> that on, man. that's the line that you start out with. I know, man, but I I just think a brand new shirt because I just think about my best friend Ryan smiling, saying, "Got a got brand a, new shirt." Got a brand new pants. They're a bit tight, but I look like a champ. Or they're a bit something. That, that's but, your line. Got a brand new shirt. It's a bit tight, but I make it work. But what's the? But I got the champ part right. But got I a brand like, new pants. See, you don't even know. The ladies really like me in my brand new pants. I thought there was a champ part. What do you say champ? Because I look like a champ. Yeah, there is. There is. Brand new pants. Oh, f- Damn it, dude. Dude, where did get on genius for this shit. Are we on genius? Yes, we are. <laughs> no, wait, no, we're not. Look. Brand new shirt. Genius. Look. Right here. <laughs> no way. Is it just like, is it kind of like Wikipedia where just people can go on there and just mm-hmm. add the thing? Chorus, Ryan McGee and Matt Watson. For some reason, my name is in italics. Uh, got a brand new shirt. Looky, looky, my brand new shirt. Okay. I say, got a brand new pants. They're a little big, but I look like a champ. See, okay. So I got my two legs in my brand new pants. I really, 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 really like, like my, my brand, brand new pants. pants. Got a brand new hat. Few cum stains, nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Ladies, ladies lining up for my brand new hat. Close, close. Girls lining girls up. Girls lining up. You should have said ladies. Ladies girls lining up. Girls lining up for my brand new hat. 
take a couple take, home. Take a couple home, let you do the math, mm-hmm. that one. I okay. got a brand new boots. The ladies really like me in my brand new boots. When they see me wearing them, they say, let's screw. These boots are made for screwing. Uh, okay, they got, it's, these boots were made for screwing, I believe. Okay. But, okay, you got a brand new long. I like reading our lyrics online because they're never accurate. There's always something slightly or off. Maybe they are, and we just, we're, we're, uh... Mandelaing ourselves, Mandela. Dude, let's talk about the Mandela effect. The what? The uh. Wait a second. The Morgan Freeman effect. I thought. Yeah, I thought it was called the Freeman effect. <laughs> wait, you're telling me it's Mandela? Yeah. I can't wait to be working on more music though. It's gonna be good. I think once you're back from vacation, the two things we should prioritize. I say, we can you know we could put let's plays and and that stuff aside for a little bit. Just so we can really, I think we should have days where like, like a week where every day you're coming to my place, I'm going to yours, we're working on the book and we're working on the album. That would be fun. Because I want those both to come out this year. Well, I at the least- The book is fucking I want, awesome. I, the dude. album has to come out this year. The book, I, I do want it to come out this year, but I at least would, I guess the number one goal for the book would be to at least get it sent off to publishing by this year. Yeah, it might take a while to get it like to publishing and, well, first we got to find- uh, a publisher. A publisher. And then we got to make sure it's one that we can get it in like Barnes and Noble and everything. Like we want our book to be in Barnes, in and, Barnes Noble. and Noble uh, on Amazon. It can't be in the teen section. It would It would be in the probably young adult fiction. No, it wouldn't. Fiction. There's no way they would put our shit in young adult. Why would they not? Because of the language. And yeah, the no, dude, that's where they put the other YouTuber book. <laughs> yeah, but. We'll put, it, we'll put it in like a, the philosophy section. <laughs> put it in science fiction. Like, as a joke, we get it listed as philosophy, and then no one buys it because they don't find it. <laughs> no, dude, when you go to Barnes & Noble, the YouTuber books are usually in the young adult yeah, but aren't they fiction all just and like, nonfiction. Hey, this is pretty swag. <laughs> I love playing video games on Twitch, and I think... You have to value your self-worth. <laughs> yeah. It's like all that shit. Like, dude, I value to, your money. Can we, <laughs> can we please also... Aside from our chapter book, write one of those books that all the YouTubers do where it's not like a chapter book, but it's just a book on like how to be awesome by <laughs> Super Mega. How to be epic. Can we do, can we call it Awesome Sauce <laughs> by Super Mega? Awesome and, it, and, sauce. and it's just like tips on how to like, like you got to love yourself. It's like, it's like, uh, can we do like, uh, can we have a section where it's things that you can make for your, for a first date and it's just like. Epic bacon burger. <laughs> yeah, we should do a whole book like that. But remember, touching yourself with a side is of wrong. narwhal fries. <laughs> narwhal fries, <laughs> dude. I think that and the pictures of us doing the walrus tusks with the fries. <laughs> <laughs> like so many like fisheye lens photos, like, <laughs> and it's super colorful. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think before we write the sequel, the super do, do people know the name of our book yet? Super Mega Saves the Troops. Okay, yeah. So I think before. <laughs> We write the sequel to Super Mega Saves the Troops, uh, the second book of the trilogy. <laughs> okay. We're working on it. Ideally, we'd like to do a trilogy. Uh, I like how we're right. Like, the main thing behind it is that, yeah, we're like, we're taking time and we're writing it. But I think the main thing for me is that we're publishing a book. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. This is all I want out of this. <laughs> all I want. I don't give a fuck about the money from the book. I just want to be able to publish something, A, <laughs> that I, you you and I are proud of. And we're yep. like, dude, this is great. We really did a good job. But I want, B, it's going to be good quality in terms of maybe not the story. But no, dude, the story is solid. <laughs> this, it's got sto- a solid plot. The story's fun. <laughs> the story's we're like 90 fun. pages in and we're not even halfway done with it's, the. It's definitely a case of, and then this happened, and then this happened. <laughs> it's like it's like an uh, underwater pyramid reborn. We're about to stop by Israel, <laughs> dude, where we are. Can, dude, we never put an underwater pyramid in, in our... Uh, we need not to put yet. a reference in there, dude. We'll put it in the nuclear submarine chapter. <laughs> okay. Around the nuclear submarine. It's, it's, I mean, I'm so excited. I've shared it uh, with a bunch of people. Ryan shared it with some with some people, too. We've, we've, sent, we've sent pages to Max Mofo, read a little bit. Uh, our buddy Gray and his yeah. wife. He, uh, he's a high school teacher of English. And, and so Jack. Can't forget Jack. Jack? He's a... Uh, He's he's the boyfriend. Oh yeah 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 her boyfriend. Yeah. Um, but it's they they loved it. Um, but I'm I'm just excited. But I think before as an in between before we move on to the next book, I think we should work on our our how to be epic, <laughs> how to be awesome. I just 
dating tips. A dating have dating tip tips. Section. Have like that's DIY where, that's crafts. Where the recipes can be. That means we have to go out. Uh, man, right now we should just go out to Barnes and Noble and just buy all the YouTuber books. <laughs> Dude, so- can there be a section where we rate the YouTuber books? <laughs> <laughs> but the, the best books by my friends, I, I, <laughs> by our friends, and it's like fucking all these people we've never talked to and don't, <laughs> like, don't. We're not even on each other's radar. I matched with this a long years ago. I matched with this girl on Tinder who was like a also like a YouTuber influencer, and then we didn't. We never ended up talking, but uh, I matched with Brent on Tinder. Oh, he's on there big time, dude. But then I went to Barnes and Noble and I realized she was in the YouTuber section because she had she had one of those books that's just like this. And I really do. Was she like, have you read my book? And I said, yes. And now I'm horny. Now um, she's like, would you like to read my book? And, and she I, opens I said, up I'll open vagina. up that book. I'll turn the pages on this. I can't say who it is because then can, it would be sexual harassment. Can I put my bookmark in this book? Your bookmark? Yeah. No, I'm, I, no, I, this is back, way back in the day when I was on Tinder and I masked with another youtuber crazy stuff um but here's the main thing about this book like i said i don't care about the money i don't care about that i want to be proud of it but the, the money's pretty good okay yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i want to be a new york times bestseller because <laughs> i want you and the i dumbest book. out of this stupid it book to be, be the, labeled as new york times bestselling author it's legitimately probably going to be the dumbest book to win uh it's not even winning just to get New York a New York Times bestseller uh, little stamp. Have you read the Da Vinci Code? <laughs> no, but for real, dude. Uh, we looked up the criteria to become a New York Times bestselling author because then after that, we we'll, we can literally just say, "Hey, it's gonna be in my bio." We are New York Times bestselling. It's authors. gonna be the only thing in my bio. Then it's gonna be twitch.tv slash New York Times bestselling author. Dude, if we do it, we got to change both our Twitter bios to so just New York Times bestselling author <laughs> McGee and Watson. <laughs> Dude, can we make a fake pub? Can we make a publishing company? It's like McGee and Watson, all like <laughs> McGee and Watson publishing. Uh, anyway, you have to sell five thousand copies in the first week. That includes digital copies and audio books and stuff. Really, uh-huh. five thousand? That's a that's 5, a tall order. I know that's that's, that's a scary. tall order. But if we can rally up all of you guys listening, what if we to made our ready? book ninety nine cents? Don't put that idea out there because. <laughs> No, uh, but it's got, the book has a lot of pictures. It's got a lot of, uh, there's random, like. <laughs> Does that count if you, like, made your book free and you just get, like, 5,000 downloads? Mm-mm, I don't think so. No. Maybe. Also, you, you can't give away books at a bookstore. I really want to look into this because I, I, I really want to be, just in the first week, if we can rally all you guys up behind us to get this book. The Game Grumps book was in a New York Time, was it? New York Times best selling? Was it? No, dude, that thing sucked. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. Vernon... Vernon did a great job on that book. Vernon didn't write that. Cecil McMills. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's it. right. That's right. Was that his name? <laughs> Cecil H.H. H. Mills. Oh, uh, <laughs> Cecil McMills. <laughs> Close enough, dude. Um, I, we need to get a... Can we just do Cecil H.H. H. Fart and like that's the, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the ty- that's our author? Can we please get a forward from someone actually famous? I bet if we read if using UT, I bet we can reach out to people. To, someone can get us a. Technically, if we pay someone on uh, what is it, cameo, we could just, just transcribe transcribe their words. <laughs> Super mega is so fun, and I love their Patreon. What I'm trying to decide is obviously we'll do paperback and hardback. Uh, for the hardback cover, the okay. paper's going to be better quality and the printing's better quality. But I kind of want for the paperback, you know that like kind of newsprint type paper from the Hardy Boys books and <laughs> yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of want that with like the, the glossy cover and then just the kind of like gray paper that. One of my favorite reading experiences, and I don't even remember that much about the book. You know the book Black Beauty? Yes. About the horse? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, the horse. The Black Beauty. The one, the one about the, one, the big man? The, the, one, the one that took place in, in 1700 South Carolina in <laughs> Charleston? <laughs> yeah, that no. one. No. Uh, yeah, the one about the horse. And uh, it, I, I, I guess my dad just had it way from back when because it might have been like- Oh, your dad my, loves Black Beauty. One of my grandmother's books or something. Yeah. But the pages were yellow. Oh, yeah. And, like, they were, like, crisp. It's because of the acidity. And I just remember, like, re- like I think I only read it because the pages were yellow, and I was like, oh, I just feel like I'm reading history. But it was just a it was just a, 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 a horse book. Can we just, like, uh, 
It's a long ass book just too. to just to make people like just angry. Can we just print it on like the worst neon paper with like very like like pink neon paper with like br- bright blue font? So it's just like it's hard. It hurts my eyes. Can we just do like a th- like a like a three spiral binder or something? <laughs> like laminated pages. We just slip in like printed paper yeah, into the perfect. page. Like drop them off at Barnes and Noble. Tell people like where to go get them for free. <laughs> I think what we should do, what I would like to do is I think we should we should get like a hundred copies of the book around Los Angeles and then just go dump them in random places and tell people like, yeah, you can go get one. <laughs> we donate like a, a box. We donate a hundred copies of our book to the goodwill. We should do that and then people can go and get it. <laughs> but then we're giving goodwill money and you know, I really don't want to help poor people, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um you know Dude, we can have a scavenger hunt where we hide a book. Around Los Angeles, just all at Markiplier's <laughs> house. Like, go to this address. <laughs> I was gonna say we do what it like the hell? in the middle of like just like right in the middle of Skid Row. <laughs> we just put it in the middle of like an intersection. So like the people living there are like, what the fuck? We should go. What the fuck are these like anime multicolored people doing in the middle of my? What's, the, what's this girl with blue hair and a <laughs> cowboy bebop shirt on uh, with a bunch of piercings just doing walking around Skid Row? You just called someone specific out. Like yeah, someone there's, listening there's definitely went, someone right now that has blue hair and wearing a cowboy bebop shirt. Like, oh shit! <laughs> no, no hate, no hate, because both those things are cool. I'll dye my hair blue. Have you ever seen Cowboy Bebop? Uh, I've seen like the first three episodes. What do you think? I really enjoyed it. I got to rewatch it. What happened? Dude, I was. Oh, it was you enjoyed it. So it was you in must 2014. Know what it was in 2014. Well, if you enjoyed it. You must know what happened, right? It was seven years ago. Hmm. You know, I don't. But you said you enjoyed it. I didn't finish it. I I remember enjoying what I watched. But how if you can't even remember what you watched? Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, no. We should put all the books in dumpsters around LA, and so people have to go. Yeah, where they belong. <laughs> Uh, I think we should really just take boxes of them and just place them places and then tell people, give them hints on where it might be and then see if they can find it. How about this? We put our, uh, we put our books in random places around Hollywood Boulevard and then call in bomb threats to those specific (laughs) locations. (laughs) (laughs) There's a robot, like you see like this duffel bag and the robot's going up to it and zips it like on the news camera and then it's just our book like displayed. That is great marketing, dude. (laughs) Like we make a package like wrapped in tinfoil and wires, <laughs> and shit, in calling a bomb threat. <laughs> so they got the bomb squad coming in, and then when the robot goes, but well, you in, know the helicopters watching this yeah, situation, and it opens, too. And they zoom in, and it's just our book. <laughs> yep, that's great marketing. We wouldn't get in trouble Thanks, either. Man. That's guerrilla marketing. Hey, dude, all press is good press. Mm-hmm. No such thing as bad press. James Charles, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's good though. He's something else. I don't know. I see. I see. There's a lot of drama. On his name, re- well, there's been a lot of drama. He can't, my man can't catch a break. <laughs> I know, poor guy, dude. Poor guy, man. Talking to those underage boys, <laughs> it just see. At first, it was like one, and then two, and then it was like fifteen. Fifteen? <laughs> I, I don't know. The I think it's over ten. Sin and Charles. H three H. Sin James. H <laughs> three is is obsessed with James Charles. H three like. His Twitter is like exclusively fighting just, the good fight, but I can't I can't separate it from any other drama channel. Even like I don't know, may, maybe I'm because Philip DeFranco still covers real world stuff, but I remember watching like Philip DeFranco years ago, and it kind of mainly just being n- like actual news stuff. But now, are you saying YouTuber stuff isn't actual news? It's not though. But maybe it is, and maybe that's that that that's where I'm stuck. Maybe maybe the point is that they're celebrities now, and they're epic and awesome. And I I want to know why Charlie D'Amelio s- said the f word. What? <laughs> imagine that, imagine like YouTube news like like on CNN or like MSNBC or Fox News. Like Tucker Carlson reporting on like Charlie D'Amelio said what? I'm pretty sure they probably have on Fox News said something about Charlie D'Amelio because she she put on she was like one of the big celebrities that did the whole like uh, made their profile picture black and stuff. Oh, and yeah. So I could just imagine where it's like Tucker Carlson takes an aside and it's like, OK, so Charlie D'Amelio thinks she has an opinion, <laughs> bitch. 
I wish Tucker Carlson acted like that. <laughs> he might as well. Dude, he might as well. That fucking face he I does. wish he would. Fuck Tucker Carlson in the ass with a big old cucumber, dude. He might like that shit, dude. He probably would. Because he's gay. No. Got him. Because he takes it up the ass from Murdoch, brother. Yes, he does. Because uh, Daddy Murdoch. Is... We take it up the ass yeah. from me undies. The wonderfully new underwear. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I... What? Do you think there's any billionaires that watch Super Mega? No. Okay. There are millionaires that watch Super Mega, though. Yeah, definitely. Hunt, do you think there's anyone that has nine figures that watches Super Mega? Ten's a billion. Not, wait. Yeah, nine is like hundred million. Imagine having that much money. That's crazy. You didn't don't... we were on PewDiePie's watch at one point? Someone saw that. He... Okay, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. At several videos, you could see that he's like watched all the way through certain let's plays and stuff. So, so he's copying us. Yeah, he just he just puts it on, dude. PewDiePie loves putting Super Mega on and just watching, you know, just watching and watching. I know that most of the people who I know like watch us. It's the podcast, though. I just remember what I was gonna say. Remember earlier, yes, like forty minutes ago, you were like, "I was talking about my room, mm -hmm. and I painted it." I said, "The color of toothpaste." Dude, <laughs> seriously? <sighs> You're not coming over now. Oh, fuck off! What were you gonna say? Uh, I've been while I've been setting up my office and my drum kit and everything. I've been listening and rewatching a bunch of. Frederick Nudson's videos down the rabbit hole, which Ryan, you have never seen. You still, I'm going to do a big binge because you got. Can we do it together? Because you did JCS, you know. I, I recommended JCS I watched every to you, single one. and you did. And and I, I feel like looking at the channel, you will love it. The only thing, it's because the, some of the videos are like really long, and I'm like, oh, do I commit to this right now? It's you know what it. I mean? Because I the, need to, because I've got, I, I'm, I've run out of shit to watch. I think the two ones I want to start you on are about both about YouTubers. The one about Spoonie, mm -hmm. you know Spoonie? Yeah. There's one about him, but the the other one is uh, about Wings of Redemption. That's who's, the big one that you were. It's like two and a half me. hours, but it's incredible. It's like the story is amazing, and it. He goes in depth, and and his narration's great. He has really good music, and uh, I mean, Wings is it of all like online shit? <clears throat> uh, no, no, not all of it. Uh, there, kind of. There's one called. Uh, he's done one about this programmer who was schizophrenic, mm -hmm. uh, like really schizophrenic, and he was like 40 years old and lived with his parents, but he created his own operating system that he believed was like a way for God to talk to him. Uh, and it's a really sad story, but it, uh, it, it's crazy called Temple OS. That one is amazing. If you guys haven't seen it, he just did two and a half hour one, almost three hours on a chess AI Ooh. called deep blue. And I was like, really? Like, am I about to sit down and watch? I don't care about chess. And I watched the whole thing and it was amazing. So fascinating. Cause he goes through like, uh, like the, the chess battles between, the AI and like world pros and he narrates every single move that takes place like but he says it like it's a fucking action movie and it's so good he hasn't uploaded in half a year though and he has a new one coming out kind of soon I saw on Twitter okay that's good he said it's, it's the better. hardest one he's had to record the most recent YouTube video I've watched was a uh, Chris Stuckman's review of Spiral the 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 saw Chris Stuckman the saw movie a pansexual king yeah he did a review on Spiral starring Chris Rock and Co uh with Samuel L. Jackson for a little bit, apparently. He's in the movie. Yeah. He didn't like it too much. Chris Stuckman? Chris Stuckman didn't like it too much. Really? What did yeah. he have to say? <clears throat> that it was poorly directed. Oh, fuck. I, I want to film a video on his setup with like the, like all the, we got to become like pop culture nerds. All the guys we, ha like all the we have to pops do and the is, action figures. is find a frame where he like goes off frame or is out of frame for a second and then just green screen ourselves in. That's all we have to do. Ryan, I gotta I gotta uh drain the main vein, as the uh Romans say. Okay. So uh what do you say? We call episode two forty six, uh put a bookmark in it right finito. here. Finito. And call it finito. Complete the door. And be <laughs> and be back next week with two forty seven. Thank you guys for the continuing support and yes. thank you guys who have stuck here from episode one all the way to two forty six now. Thank you very much, and we will see you in the, in the next, next episode. Bye-bye!
Let's do a real outro because I don't want to do Mark and no, outro again. again. <laughs> for like the 10th, 20th time. No fart sound for this one because I'm editing it. No, yep, so, yep, yep. What do you usually put when you edit it? The music. <laughs> Every time. Pretty much. <laughs> Uh, that's funny to me because I just put in I have the same fucking four or five fart sounds. No, dude, I listen. I just interchange it. The last episode I I played on Spotify, played and just <laughs> it's the same fart sound that we used for Mark Zuckerberg in the E3 video. No, but I'll end this one with the music. Uh, so thank, thank you guys and.